As non-essential shops reopen this week after months of being closed due to lockdown, thousands of people flocked to the city centre for some long-awaited retail therapy at many well-known chain shops like Primark, Zara and Sports Direct. Now that these popular brands are open, will the independent and local businesses be forgotten by the public? We went to Clifton to see if it was just as busy as Broadmead. As we walked down the street, it was fairly quiet and nothing seemed to have changed compared with the busy scenes in the city centre. We also We also noticed that many of our high street charity shops are still closed and are not accepting donations until they reopen. We asked two students why they weren't shopping at the big brands in the city centre. For me, I'm sort of really happy to wait as long as we need to do when, so that you know the numbers are going down. Like we're sort of happy for mm. to wait. I think it's I care more about that people are being safe and everything like that, and I don't mind the sort of slowly, you know, gradually opening back up. But yeah, I'm kind of happy to wait. Obviously, I want it to be back to normal, but yeah, I'd rather everyone be safe first. Mm. I think now that like a lot of people are back to work but if they're not back to work like waiting doesn't seem as big of a issue because you just mm, I don't know I think it's nice to like take time out a little bit as well mm. so. After seeing crowds flock to Cabot Circus and hearing that an estimated 25,000 people visited Broadmead yesterday it's quite a sad sight and a stark comparison seeing our more independent high streets empty and without queues. Do you Do you think our local independent shops will survive?